Find the mass of the two-dimensional oversized hockey puck of radius 8 inches with a density function of rho of x equals 2 plus 3 cosine pi x, where x is the distance from the point at the origin. If rho of x represents the radial density of a disk with radius r, the object has mass equal to the definite integral from 0 to r of 2 pi x times rho of x dx, which means in our case, the mass is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 8 of 2 pi x times the density function dx. Let's go ahead and factor out the 2 pi and also distribute the x, which gives us 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 8 of 2x plus 3x cosine pi x dx. And now we're going to determine the antiderivative on the next slide. Because it's fairly involved, I think it'll be easier if we first evaluate the indef integral, and then once we find the antiderivative, we'll come back and evaluate the definite integral. So again, we'll first consider the integral of 2x plus 3x cosine pi x dx. Let's first write this as two separate integrals. We know the integral of 2x with respect to x is 2 times x squared divided by 2, which simplifies to x squared. To integrate 3x cosine pi x dx, we'll have to perform integration by parts. Recall the integration by parts formula is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Let's let u equal 3x, which indicates du equals 3 dx, which leaves us with dv equals cosine pi x dx. Remember to find v from dv, we integrate cosine pi x, giving us v equals 1 divided by pi times sine pi x. Let's show some more work on this part. Again, to find v, we need to integrate cosine pi x dx, which requires substitution, where let's let w equal pi x, and therefore dw equals pi dx, dividing both sides by pi. We have 1 divided by pi dw equals dx. Writing the integral of cosine pi x dx with respect to w, we replace pi x with w, and dx equals 1 divided by pi dw. The integral of cosine w with respect to w is sine w, running it back in terms of x. We have v equals 1 divided by pi times sine of pi x. Applying the integration by parts formula, we have u times v, which is 3x divided by pi times sine pi x, and then minus the integral of v du gives us minus the integral of 3 divided by pi sine pi x. Notice I factored out the 3 divided by pi. Now we need to integrate sine pi x dx, which is very similar to how we integrated cosine pi x dx. We end up getting an extra factor of pi in the denominator. Integrating, we end up getting negative 3 divided by pi times the antiderivative of negative 1 divided by pi cosine pi x, and then of course plus c. Simplifying one more time, the antiderivative is x squared plus 3x divided by pi times sine pi x plus 3 divided by pi squared cosine pi x plus c. So this is the antiderivative, which means we can now drop the c and use this to evaluate the original definite integral. So here's the original integral, and we now know the antiderivative. Now we need to determine 2 pi times the difference of big F of 8 and big F of 0. Here is big F of 8, here is big F of 0. Simplifying, the exact mass is 128 pi, which is approximately 402.1239. I hope you found this helpful.